Hey guys, it's Ashley. Um, I was tagged by another new by another YouTube user to do the child in you ten question tag. I know this was one was going around for a while, but I haven't seen it lately, so I was surprised to be tagged, but that's cool. So I'm gonna do this really quick while the girls are napping. Let's see. Question number one. As a kid, what was your dream job? Well, my the first job that I ever wanted to do was to be a dentist, and that was when I was like two. And after that, I, after Halloween came around, <clears throat> I changed my desire and decided that I wanted to be a makeup artist to the clowns. Yes, dream big, kids, dream big. So I had told my mom that I wanted to be a makeup artist to the clowns full time, an Arthur and illustrator part time, and side jobs of being a dentist. I had it all planned out. Three jobs. And the dentist was the side job. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to be. And then realistically, when I got a little bit older, I wanted to work with kids, and I wanted to be a psychologist, and I wanted to be an art psychologist, a children's art psychologist for um, kids who had gone through traumatic experiences like I had. Question number two. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real, and how did you find out? Well, when I actually first found out, like when I first heard someone say Santa's not real, I was in like first grade, but I didn't believe them. Like, people told me things all the time, and I didn't believe them. If they weren't my mom, I didn't have to believe them. So like when I first heard people start saying it, I was really little, and I would get mad. I remember writing a letter to Santa, like, in the summer, and I was mad because a boy had told me he'd been mean to me or whatever, and I wrote Santa a letter and told him he was naughty and not to give him any toys that he asked for when it came to summer. When I was in third grade, I wrote a letter to Santa in September and told him not to give toys to Clayton Kabinsky because Clayton said that I was stupid. You know, <laughs> get Myers Santa revenge. Um, so basically, like, I was told and no one else believed anymore, but I still believed with my whole heart. Finally, when I was 10, um, I asked for a computer. And my mom, you know, being a single mom, couldn't afford to do it. So she kept, like, praying for a miracle because she didn't want to shatter me. And, like, they would try to tell me. And I was just so, you know, I knew he was real. I just knew. I believed in the magic. And so finally, you know, that year, that was when I was nine, a miracle happened and a friend from her work was able to get a computer for me and I dropped to my knees and started crying and I said, I told you he would do it. I told you Santa would do it. And so anyways, the next year, um, I got in a fist fight at school in fifth grade and I punched a boy in the face because he told me Santa wasn't real and that my mom was lying to me. And I told him not to talk about my mother like that. And I punched him in the face. And I got suspended for a day. So mom and I had to have a big talk about Santa that night. In which I started crying and screaming. And I was like, you lied to me. I trusted you. And I was so upset I wouldn't even eat my Taco Bell. She had went and got me because she felt bad that she was going to have to tell me Santa wasn't real. And I'll be honest with you, ever since then, Christmas lost just like that little bit of that spark for me because I was one of those kids that truly believed it, like would cry when I watched the movie The Santa Claus, which is one of my most favorite movies ever. I would cry because I was like, look at that. Like I was just, we'll stop talking about question number two because it's a sensitive subject. But I can't wait to be Santa one day. Question number three, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? I was many things. One of my favorites was a Mrs. Flintstone, Wilma Flintstone. I was a cave woman. I was scarecrows, witches, Raggedy Ann, um, ladybugs, pumpkins. I was everything. Um, I think the most creative one was the scarecrow. Because a lot of work went into that. <laughs> a lot. Question number four. 
what were your favorite cartoons slash shows as a kid? Let's see. I liked Rugrats. I liked Ren and Stimpy. Ah, uh, Real Monsters. Clarissa Explains It All. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, Rocko's Modern Life. Lizzie McGuire. Like, that's all right. All the original, like, 90s. Hey, dude. Salute your shorts. Like, the original 90s, Are You Afraid of the Dark, Nickelodeon stuff, you know? Um, when I was really little, I loved, like, that gnome show. I don't remember what it's called, but it had, like, a gnome in it. And the gnomes rode a cat. And it's, like, something that someone had to have been high to even create. But I liked it. <sighs> Whatever. Um, question number five. Was there a band or musician you were completely obsessed with growing up? You were asking this to a 90s child, okay? I was born in 89, so I pretty much grew up, obviously, in the 90s. In Sync, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, 98 Degrees, all that stuff. I won't say Backstreet Boys because we didn't like them. But, <laughs> yes, big time. The first CD I ever bought with my own money was a Spice Girls CD. I bought a Spice Girls CD and an NSYNC CD and my first CD player. And it was pretty awesome. I still, like, can break down any NSYNC or Spice Girls song or Britney Spears, like, on command. I'm not afraid to admit it. Question number six. Do you still watch any cartoons? If so, which ones? I'm a nanny, like... I watch a lot of cartoons with these kids, but I also am, like, guilty of, like, watching the Disney Channel sometimes. But honestly, stuff just isn't as good as it used to be. Like, Phineas and Ferb does not compare to Omni Monsters. It just doesn't. Um, question number seven. What's one habit from your childhood that stuck with you till this day? This. When I was little and I was nervous, I did this. I make little circles, starting on the outside, and I go in and in and in, closer, closer, and then I go back out. And I did this when I was nervous, when I was anxious, when I was bored. The only time I really do it now is if I'm nervous about something or if I feel uncomfortable. And I'll sit and I'll have my hands like this doing this. And my husband or my mom will be like, Ashley, you're doing it again. It's a habit that's just always stuck with me. It started with nerves when I would feel uncomfortable or if someone was picking on me when I was little. Um, number eight, let's be real. Do you have jam sessions in your car and go wild dancing? Who doesn't? Honestly, who doesn't? Like, if I'm at a stoplight, you're not going to see me, like, freaking out over here because I don't want you to look at me and be like, look at that weirdo. What's she doing? Like, I don't do that, but I do sing in my car and occasionally dance a little bit. Just a little. Number nine, you're at a hotel. Do you steal the shampoos and conditioners from your room? Okay, I'd like to know who steals these. Because, first of all, they're so freaking cheap. They only give you, like, a bottle that's, like, that big. So let's say that there's, I don't know, two people in a hotel room. Only one of them's getting their hair washed if it's a chick. Because, I mean, I have short hair. And that stuff, it's enough for, like, one shampoo and one conditioner. So, like, how are you going to steal? The empty bottle? No, I'm not going to steal the empty bottle. I bring my own stuff because there's there's not even enough to, like, do anything there. So, no, I'm not interested in that at all. Plus, it's never good anyway. Except for the Sybaris. The Sybaris had some really good double bath. Um, anyways. Number ten. Final question. Looking back at things now, what advice would you give to your younger self? I think this is a question that pretty much everyone has been asked at some point and has answered and sincerely thought about. And it's a question that's too long to answer in a video that's already 10 minutes. That's ridiculous. But honestly, for any, like, teenagers or preteens watching this, 
Stop caring what other people think. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I know it feels like it does, and in your heart, like, that's like a really, really big deal, and that it's so bad and tragic if someone has a problem with you. If they don't like you, who cares? Their life will not influence yours unless you give it permission to. If someone says something that hurts you, you don't have to care. You can let it roll off and think, well, they must have been having a really bad day or there's something bad going on in their life or they're taking something out on me. You don't have to take it to heart. But if you do, the person who allowed that is you. And I allowed myself to be taken advantage of and bullied and treated like dirt. And I had a lot of issues anyway when I was younger. And I gave permission to other people to just walk all over me, so they did. So basically, my advice, stop trying to impress other people. Stop trying to get people to like you and just be who you are. And don't worry about what anyone else thinks about you. And if they don't like you, they don't like you. In life, not everyone is going to like you. And you're not going to like everybody. And that's okay. As long as you respect everybody. And as long as you can tolerate everybody. Life isn't going to appreciate you going around popping people in the face like I did when they told me Santa wasn't real. You know, you have to just let things go and take it easy and don't sweat the small stuff. Because if you do, you'll, be, you'll just get an ulcer and you're not going to enjoy life at all. Basically, my advice to myself would be just be who you are. Take things day at a time and chill out a little bit. So that was this tag. If you guys want me to do any other tags, let me know. Because I actually like to do them because it gives me something to talk about rather than just going, hmm, today I did and yesterday I did and that sucked and that was cool and hmm, what else? Oh, that's it. Okay, bye. You know, it gives me something to talk about. Even though I kind of make these drag on forever. Okay, 12 minutes. I'm seriously going now. Sorry, guys. Um, anyways. I tag everyone who wants to do this. Thanks for watching.